in just 30 days time, you can go from being a complete beginner to running a successful e-commerce store. Don't believe me? Well, stick around to the end of this video and I'll teach you the exact process to go from where you are today to having a successful e-commerce dropshipping business set up without having any prior experience. My name's James Eardley. I've got multiple e-commerce businesses and I'm also a coach and I teach people how to build e-commerce businesses themselves with weekly videos on my YouTube channel. So subscribe if you like this type of video. And today's one is a bit special because I want to give you a challenge. So for you watching this video today, I want to explain how you can embark on a challenge over the next 30 days to go from exactly where you are now to have a successful e-commerce business. And I'll take you through each step that you need to take. Imagine how your life would look if you have a successful e-commerce business set up in 30 days time. If you have a store built ready with live suppliers, being able to send products to customers in the UK where you can run an ad campaign that will generate sales for you without you having to do anything other than just maintain and monitor your business. How does that affect your life? How would having that asset in your life change your fortunes? How do you think that would change your future and the different opportunities that you have having an income stream that's separate from your time and separate from the job that you have at the moment? Think about how your life can look if you put your head down for 30 days in a challenge that I'm going to set for you and think about the rewards that you'll achieve if you see this through. When I first started dropshipping, I had no idea what the word even meant. and I didn't know anything about e-commerce. But after just a short amount of time getting my head down and being really focused on selling products online, it was amazing how much progress I could make. And I want the same for you. Even if you're a complete beginner, the first step is just being excited about what you can achieve in 30 days and committing to taking the steps required to get to where you want to be. If you don't want to take this challenge, then carry on with whatever you're doing. You don't need to do the work. You don't have to grow a business. But if you want the time, location and financial freedom that comes with having an e-commerce business, then I recommend committing, putting your head down, taking the steps that are required so you can get to the outcome that you want to achieve. So let's go through this step by step. The first step knowing that we need to achieve this in as short a time as possible, we need to follow a step-by-step -step guide that will give you the steps that you need to take without you having to find out what to do. Yes, you can get all of this information from YouTube, but if you want to get this done quickly within the 30-day challenge, you need to be able to put things together with a step-by-step -step method without having to get advice from friends or look on YouTube or find and piece all this information together. Where I recommend you to go to start with is simply a book. It's called The Home Turf Advantage. It's been written by Lewis Smith, who's the founder of Dropship Unlocked. And he, along with myself as a coach, we teach hundreds of people how to build these types of businesses every single day. So if you follow that book, you'll have the steps you need to take. And it's simple. All you need to do is go to the link and pick up that book. And just using the steps that are laid out in the book, you'll be able to follow everything that you need to do. Now, once you've picked up that book, I'll give you some guidance now about the the specific steps that you need to take that you need to really focus on as you go through that process of building your business. So next is to choose the products that you're going to sell. Now, when you choose the products that you're going to sell, you want to choose products that's going to enable you to run a lifestyle business that's not going to require all of your time every single day to run. Now, you have a choice when you choose the products to sell, whether you want to choose to sell products that will give you a very involved business that you need to be there for every day or you can choose to sell products that will allow you to take a step back enjoy the time that you spend doing whatever you want to do while your business generates cash for you in the background now i think you'll probably want to choose the business model that allows you to be a little bit further away from the business and so that you're not so heavily involved especially if you want to get this built in 30 days and the way I recommend you to go is to choose a high ticket product. So that means selling products that are above £300 minimum to make sure you're selling expensive products. That means you won't need to make as many sales to generate the same amount of profit. So that way you're not constantly fulfilling orders and dealing with customers. You can generate the same profit from selling a lower number of items. If you want a head start to find out which products I'd suggest for a high ticket niche, then I've listed 101 niche ideas in the description so you get a head start there without having to uh, think about all these ideas yourself. Again, we're going to complete this in 30 days, so I recommend checking out that niche list to give you a head start. So we're going to give ourselves one week to get set up with the book, read the book through and choose the niche 
that you're going to go into. One week is, is the deadline for that. Then you'll know exactly which products you're going to sell and you can move on to the next step, which is going to be building your Shopify store. Now building your store, we're only going to need four days for this because we only need to build a basic Shopify store in the first place. So what I recommend is going to Shopify. Again, there's a link in the description for speed while you go through this challenge. Sign up to Shopify, set up a free theme so it doesn't need to cost you anything set up a minimum viable store. So it's a basic store that will just get you sales, which is all explained in the book. And then once you have your store built, you'll be ready to call suppliers and they'll have a store and a website to look at when they check you out. Which brings us on to the next step, which is to sign suppliers. So now you have your niche chosen, you have a store ready. We're now gonna call suppliers in the area of your niche that can sell the products that you want to sell. So you'll find these suppliers using the guidance in the book and essentially you'll find suppliers that can deliver the products that you want to sell next day to your customers or within three to five working days. So that means you've got a highly competitive offer to your customers and they'll want to buy from you and you won't have to deal with customers that are unhappy waiting for long delivery times. We'll allow a full week now to contact and sign suppliers so that you can get the minimum of four suppliers signed before I recommend running ads to your products. Now, we're on day 19 after getting these initial tasks completed. So we've got 11 days left of the 30 day challenge to get your e-commerce store up and running. The next step, now that you've got your suppliers signed is to upload the products from the suppliers and we'll give ourselves another two days to complete this task. Day 19 and 20, we'll be uploading products. You wanna make sure you've got at least 50 products uploaded so it'll take some time with your head down in your laptop to upload those products to Shopify once you've got your suppliers signed. Now on to day 21 and things get really exciting because now we're gonna be setting up your Google Ads campaign. So to set up a Google Ads campaign, you need to create your Google account, then make sure you've got a Merchant Center account created and a Google Ads account created as well. With those accounts ready and set up, you'll use the Symprosis Shopping Feed app that you install into Shopify and that will feed your products through to Google Ads and you'll be able to get your ads running very quickly. If you need any guidance around that, of course, it's all in the book, but essentially you'll give yourself now a week to get your ads up and running and make sure everything's set up and ready to go. So I'd recommend you set up a Google Performance Max campaign and that will allow you to have a catch-all campaign that will show your products to the customers that are most likely to buy and it will be shown all around the internet in lots of different placements. And that takes us through to day 28. You'll have your ads running, you'll have your suppliers signed, your store built, your niche chosen, you'll be ready and set up with an e-commerce business. With the final two days, we're gonna set up your daily operations so that they're automated and can work easily with you just coming in and maintaining that business. So day 29, I recommend you setting up your Gmail templates so you can send your orders to suppliers very quickly. So just set up some templates that say to your supplier, here is the order that we've recently received from our Shopify store. So you'll forward that Shopify email along with your message to say, here's the details. Please send it to this customer at the address shown on the order form. And also you want to set up a Trello board that tracks all of the orders that you create. And so you can keep an eye on where you're at with each of those orders. So that will take you through to 30 days. And if you follow those steps, you'll have a business set up. You'll have some easy templates to follow so you can easily run your business. And then this is when the learning will really start. This is when you'll have feedback from your Google Ads account. You'll learn which suppliers are working. You'll work, learn which products are most popular. And that will allow you to optimize and continue to grow from here. But by having a challenge, by giving yourself 30 days to get to this point, you'll be giving yourself the fuel that you need to really push and get yourself up to an amazing stage where you've got your business set up after just 30 days. So I wanna hear how you get on with this challenge from where you are today to having a business up and running in 30 days. Let me know in the comments how you're getting on. I recommend the book and my niche ideas in the description to give you a head start with this challenge. But I wanna find out how you're getting on, encourage each other. Also let me know, I'll be keen to find out how you're getting on as well. If you want my guidance on how to generate £10,000 a month with a dropshipping business, then I recommend you watch the video that I've got linked on the screen at the moment and then get started with your challenge. So I'm looking forward to see how you get on and I'll catch you in the next video.